Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasha Allah, ko holoyim la, yahawa bashim, yahawa shai, bahashim, mekha hakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, who do rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akawaf. That's out here, sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Achanan Nawah, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, uh, this shit just kind of popped into my feed, but I did watch a little bit of it because it is interesting. And when I tell you, if you want to know what the future of America is, all we got to do is just people a few minutes of this right here. These college students, it says, can 25 liberal college students outsmart one conservative, right? And he cutting them. This is got uh, Charlie Kirk, um, if, you, if you're familiar with him, with this big ass forehead. You know, um, I've heard him say some pretty racist shit, but, you know, uh, he's got another show on TV or whatever. But anyway, he's cutting these, he's cutting these um, young adults up because they're not kids, you know. But when I tell you the shit that you're about to hear as far as the way that they think, these are going to be your future politicians, your future doctors, your future whatever. Hell, matter of fact, they, they actually going to, to college and getting a bunch of damn student loan debt, not going to even get a damn job. And matter of fact, we're praying that Yahweh Shai comes through and wreck on this place so goddamn quick for the evilness that's going on in here that they don't even get a chance to even make it out of college. <laughs> we're praying that this thing happens soon and very, very soon, man. So I'm telling you, boy, just check it out. Just check it out from 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 the from the men to the women. You're going to see how these these this new generation thinks. You know, I'm not going to say all of them because it, it is saying that they're liberal. But overall, this is your new generation. These are pretty much your people that are going to be, you know, voting for Kamala. You know, they hate Trump. They don't they don't even think about society, econ economy. They, I don't think they do anyway. But, but, you know, but this is for educational purposes only. Copyright disclaimer, not getting any monetary value off of this. So uh, don't want to get no, no copyright hookups or anything but let's just play some of it you're gonna see you can make your own decision on it but i say america is through just from shit like this right here i mean we know it already but i mean this is just more proof that this place is done you think men can give birth i think that uh yes or no question i think that a person who is assigned male at birth i don't think they assigned male at birth so people are not male at birth I think that a person... See, your evidence that college is a scam, my friend. So what do you say in some cases, women no, with IUDs are murderers? Of course not, they're not, not murderers. So we what's the know. difference between an IUD killing a conceived zygote because and like a mother going to Planned Parenthood and killing the fetus in her womb? That was actually the best point somebody made. It's not about the, the cell. It's no, not I, about... I, no, 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 I'm speaking. 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 Hello, everyone. I am Charlie Kirk, founder of Turning Point USA, and uh, I am surrounded by 20 woke college kids. My first prompt is abortion is murder and should be illegal. <laughs> All right. Can I maybe? <laughs> okay. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Juliana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Can you. Can we get our terms right first? Yeah. Okay. Abortion is the forcible ending of the viability of a being in utero, otherwise known as a fetus. Do we agree that's what abortion is? Okay, yeah. Okay, great. And then murder is the intentional taking of life different than killing or sudden death. So murder would be the intent with intent taking another life. Do we agree with that? Okay. Okay, and then we agree that murder in general in society should be illegal. Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, no, I do want to preface that I'm a Catholic. Okay. So I think one really important thing that the Bible says is to not judge. And just going back to the topic, um, I think there's a big difference uh, between, you know, cells in utero than a living, breathing, existing being. And while um, I do believe it's murder, and that's just my personal belief, right? I don't believe in telling people what to do with their bodies. That's not up to me, and it's not up to us okay. as well as Christians but to judge. Should we? So see what she just noticed, what she said, just said? It's not up to Christians to judge. So you're not supposed to teach the gospel? You're not supposed to tell a person, hey, look, that's wrong. Because if, you, if you're if you a caring Christian, then, then what you will be doing is saying, hey, look, man, that's going to destroy you. The Lord is not playing that. The Lord will destroy you about that lifestyle or doing this or doing that. Hey, you shouldn't, um, you know, uh, 
pretty much be running up on people and talking shit, you know, directly to their face because you just never know what they're going to do. Be calm, you know, have um, self-respect, you know, just basic things. You're not supposed to tell your children, hey, look, man, you walking around in this Walmart, you don't just pick up no shit and put it in your pockets, you know? So this is, this is your Christianity right here. She's a Catholic, but she doesn't believe in telling somebody that you can get fucked up from something. And, and, and what that goes off into really is, Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I just got to get the scripture. Uh, so lock you, bear with me real quick. Okay, so Matthew 7. This is what pretty much these Christians quote, but they don't really read the scripture, so they don't understand what it's actually saying. They just hear, Thou, you shouldn't judge people. Uh, uh, only, only God can judge me. No, that's not true, because you can go to court, and, and a so-called white man, he's sitting there, he'll judge your ass and put you to have your ass um, um, put to death in the electric chair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He has that much judgment. He can he can he can sit there and literally say, "Well, hey, 50 years. You're going to do 60 years. You'll be eligible for parole at this time." So what about him? What you going to tell him that uh, 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 you can't judge he, and he's just going to let you just walk out of the courtroom? Nah. <laughs> well, let's get it real quick. Matthew 7 and 1, let's start there. It says, judge not that ye be not judged. So they hear that and it's like, up. Oh, see, you can't judge. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Right? And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? So basically, say for instance, you telling somebody that may smoke one cigarette a day, to stop smoking, but you smoking a goddamn pack a day. That's where it goes into judging. Don't be a damn hypocrite, man. That's what that's talking about. It says, or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye. And behold, a beam is in thine own eye. So basically, you know, you telling a man, hey man, you should be sleeping with that man's wife. But he's sleeping with two other men's wives. <laughs> no, man, I would be hypocritical. Verse four, or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote out of thine eye and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite. See the Lord, that's being hypocritical. The Lord is saying that's hypocritical. That's exactly what that's meaning. They don't read any further. You can clearly get the understanding if you, well, I guess the Holy Spirit got to be dealing with you too as well, but you can clearly get the understanding if you just read. You know, the, 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 the entire context of what's being said. They just see that one verse. Thou, you can't judge me. The fuck you mean I can't judge you? That's like saying you can't tell your kids nothing to do. You just let, just let them grow up and they just, the, the, the 10-year-old grabbing the car keys. You know, just dipping off. I'll be back or not. I won't even tell you they'll be back. I'm going to the park. You know, I'm going to hang out with some of my, uh, my well, I got a play date, God damn it. I'm taking the keys. What you going to do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thou hypocrite, first cast off the beam out of thine own eye. First off, handle yourself first. And then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. You can't help nobody if your ass doing the same thing. So anyway, let's go back to the video. I just wanted to point, point, point that out real, 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 real quick, man. Because she's supposedly a Catholic. Of course, we already know how that goes. That shit is idolatry. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you need to come out of them Christian churches that, that that's running that white Jesus shit on you. Because that's all idolatry. The Lord is not some blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy. And his name is not Jesus, man. His name is Yahawashai, which means he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. And the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And our Father, the Heavenly Father, the one that created all... He's going to send his son to to base the for the elect of Israel. So all these damn Catholics, um, um, um Protestant, um, 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 Baptist, um, Pentecostal, that shit ain't going to make no difference. Because if you're not a part of the elect, you're through. And if you're claiming to be a part of any of those um sects anyway, your ass is through because the Lord is not dealing with that. He's not dealing with any part of white Jesus, no matter which name you put on it. That, that, that's idolatry, man. He's going to destroy anybody that's dealing with that, man. Anyway, let's go back to the video. As well as Christians but to judge. Should we prevent murder in society? For sure, yeah. I it mean, should be illegal. But I think that it's really different, right? Because 
you know, these people aren't. Sorry, nice to no, meet you. Okay, nice to Check out the black woman. Check, hey, check, check out the Nick, the, the end up, bro. Check her out. She, she, <laughs> you just want to just be like, my goodness, bro. Check her out, though. And look at this so-called black dude. He wasn't no different because he, he made it up there um, 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 at a point, too. They running fast. They're running fast to, to, to um, represent um, abortion, man. Check it out. Okay, what's your name? Naima. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Okay, can I just ask, um, at how many weeks do you think that a fetus is viable? Well, viability and moral worth are two different things. No, but I'm asking you, at how many weeks well, do you think a fetus is viable? Well, at about 20 weeks, a baby can survive outside of utero. So it's actually 24 to 26 weeks? Well, it's weeks? 20. The youngest ever in a NICU unit actually happened in San Diego, not far from here, and survived the 20 weeks. Okay, so under Roe v. Wade... 93% of abortions happened in the first 13 weeks of pregnancy. That's 93% of the abortions happened well before a fetus is technically viable for, for as sure. a form so of let, life. So let's go into viability. So what is it about, let's say, a six-week baby that has a heartbeat, its own DNA, fingerprint, brain waves, that is less moral worth than an 88-year-old right now with dementia in a home down the street? That person requires assistance, requires help. What, what, why is it that the six-week baby is of less moral worth? Well, first of all, it's not a baby. It's a fetus. Well, what does fetus mean? A fetus is in utero. What does fetus mean in Latin? What the f***? I'm sorry. Is this it, a it language means, It means little human being. The smile is very creepy. Okay. Um, oh, smiling is creepy? No, your smile specifically. Got it. But you. let's go back no. to... So, we're losing track here. No, but... So she got cut, and she had to resort... To, you know what I'm saying, trying to um, clown a man. Because she got cut, because she didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. But is it, what, what species is the fetus? The fetus is not a species yet. It's technically classified mm -hmm. as a parasite no, no, no. until oh, it is oh, wow. viable. So, no, I want to well, talk to you about I something wanna, very I, quickly. I can't let you get past that. Are you I'm saying, you're saying a baby is a disease or a tumor? A parasite is not a disease and a tumor. Those are not the same thing. A, a parasite parasite is defined as something that cannot survive outside of its host. A baby, before it is viable, cannot survive outside of a woman's womb. Got, got it. So let's, extra let's extrapolate that. it are, is not a living organism. Are, are old people with Alzheimer's and dementia that are being assisted every day, are they parasites? No, they're not parasites. They're human beings who are on the brink of death. Got it. So my six, they're not going to be my four-month-old that requires mom's breast milk and requires daily changes and feedings cannot survive without its own. Is my four-month-old a parasite? Your baby can breathe on its own. Your baby can drink water from its mouth to its stomach. But, but it can't Your baby can, can, it, eat can it hunt, food. can it gather, can it reason? But that's not what qualifies something oh, as being okay. a living so let's, organism. Let, let, being a living organism terms. simply means can you survive outside of a womb, but, outside of your host? Got it. So I just want to make sure I'm clear. Why does that then equate to moral viability? It equates to scientific viability. Why? Under what standard? Because it is not alive. And you well, are advocating for the rights of something that is not technically alive. Got it. So what... Is, is While well, sacrificing a, the needs of the human woman who is alive. Got it. So, but a, a, a mom can survive yes. without the baby in her. Uh huh. Right? Yes. The baby cannot survive without the mom. Yes. But a mom cannot survive without her lungs. So it's not her body, it's in her body. It's not yeah, her DNA, I know. so it's not her choice. So it's a. It actually is directly her DNA. It's. It is 100%. It's 50% of her DNA. Hey, boy. That's why the apostles say stay away from the so-called black woman, man. Because they'll go hard about this. And then at the same time, too, you know, they're going to either put, if you ha if she had the baby, she's more than likely going to put you through hell, you know, as far as child support. If you can't see the baby, she's using the damn baby as a weapon. That's if she had the baby. Other than that, she can just go out and abort the damn baby and, and not even have to tell you. Or... <laughs> She might tell you and come and ask you for the money. And if you don't support it, she don't get the money from you. She'll go and get the money from another nigga that she may know or a family member. So overall, generally in America, we are through as far as a nation. So when we look at our women, it's not that we don't love them. You know, we, hey, we we're Israelites, but you have to use some wisdom. You got to say, hey, well, look, it's better that I don't. Marry, I'm telling you, the apostles say don't, don't, and I got to agree 100% don't marry, 
none of these so-called black chicks as far as like going a marriage, as far as like signing a goddamn paperwork. You crazy? No, don't get no. You you plan yourself. You better off just getting you a what they would call a girlfriend, and always keep your own place. Don't ever move in with a chick here, especially if it's her place. You moving in with her and it's her shit. You're you're gonna be treated as the child that she didn't abort. <laughs> For real, because you're not going to have no damn say in the home. Keep your own place so she won't be able to throw your ass out of the house because she's capable of aborting a baby. If a, if a woman is capable of aborting a baby, you don't think she'll throw your ass out of the house in the worst of weather? Get the hell out of here, man. And she she ran up there to go hard about it, bro. Anyway, and I'm not saying all women in general, but we live in America, man. It's just we got to use wisdom, man. Straight up. It just is what it is. Let's play some more. Get it. He's going to win, I'm telling you. This, 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 this could take a while. Okay, first of all... Do we have our terms correct? We agree? Actually, no. So first okay, of all, I'd like to refine our terms. Got I have it. two points to bring up after that, though. So you define murder as, like, intentionally, like, killing a human being. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very poor way to define murder, because if someone were to, like, break into my home... Well, fast-talking-ass Esau. Esau is the one... Matter of fact, to get to the source of the abortion... Uh, uh, see, this is why Esau got to be eradicated. This is why this man got to be eradicated. Because it's him that's coming up with the laws... He's the one that, that write the regulations on an abortion. You think so-called black people just opening up abortion centers? Are you out your damn mind? No so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are like, you know what? We're going to open up some abortion centers. We're going to call it Planned Parenthood. No, you got to go through this man's stipulations. You got to go through his, his, first off, his schools. He defines how you can do it. He gives you his textbooks. You know, you go through internships and all this other little shit. You go to eight years of college, whatever the case may be. You got to learn everything that he wants you to learn as far as his science goes before you can actually get to the point of talking about a damn abortion clinic. This is all Esau. This is the so-called white man. So when this guy, actually this guy, Charlie Clark, like I said, Charlie, I think his name is Charlie Clark or whatever the hell his name is. He's a damn racist, though. But. When he's sitting there actually saying what he's saying, when he first named off everything in the beginning, you know, he kind of had the stipulation of what murder was, what abortion was, this, that, and the third. But you think that he will actually sit there and say, well, hey, yeah, uh, the so-called white man is the one that's in control of this shit. Now, you may be able to go to China or go to Japan or go to any other country and they may have abortion. But guess who they got it from? Guess who they got the, the, the process from? They got the process from Esau. You know, they got the process from Esau. You can't get around it. The so-called white man came up with the process of abortion, man. So this man got all manner. Of, it's not enough that he killed off all the, so, you know, pretty much damn near killed. Well, you know, the Native American Indians, the Gadites, he killed millions and millions and millions and millions of them. Came to the West Coast, West Coast of Africa, grabbed up a bunch of Negroes. Killed off millions of them. Still have them in captivity to this very day. You know? Killed off all the goddamn buffalo and whatever else he could kill off, man. But this man, on a year-to-year -year basis, is millions of babies being aborted right here in the Americas, man. And, and, and the main one that's doing it, the top percentage one, is the so-called black woman. Don't get me wrong. There's some so-called white women. They out here, they doing the thing thing, too. Because this man, he has made it so unaffordable. And then they always want to throw up, well, what if a 10-year-old gets raped? Well, okay, how often does that happen? What if a 9-year-old gets raped? What? How, how often? I ain't never heard of it. No, I don't know nobody like that. I ain't never, out of all the years of my life, I've never, I know it happens. Don't get me wrong, it does happen. And they actually bring this up in this, um, this particular, somebody that sat there, one, uh, I think it was the last uh, so-called white chick, she, uh, she acts that stupid shit. But it's like, okay, so you talking about a 10-year-old, but what about you? You're not 10 years old. What, what? Let's say you lay up with your boyfriend this weekend and you get pregnant. What about you at 18? What about you? <laughs> anyway, man. When point a gun at the heads of me and everybody I love, and I intentionally kill them to prevent them from unalive, from killing my family, I don't think I murdered them, right? So I would define murder as the unjustified termination of a human life. You're making a good point. Let me further clarify that. Okay. So self-defense is right. very warranted. Exactly, right? But See? 
Here you go. You're a college student. You don't know the difference between murder and kill. And see, sometimes, you know, people get this mixed up in their scriptures as well. Let's get this real quick. Because this is one of the Ten Commandments. Exodus chapter 20. Verse 13, and it just simply says, thou shalt not kill. But in the NLT over here, the New Living Translation, they have it right. You must not murder. Because when you go into this word, let's see. They, let's see how they got it here. And, um, they have it as a phrase. It's Rasa, 87523. To murder. See? You just setting up in your mind, like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. And then you actually go and do it. That's murder. Now, if somebody break into your house. And, 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 you, and you in bed with your wife, your kids is in bed, and you hearing a motherfucker coming through the window, you know, that's justifiable. That's a justifiable um kill right there. If that person, because you don't know what they're going to do. You're not, supposed, you know, you, you don't, you, the lights are off. It's dark in the house. You're not going to be like, hey, who is that? What do you want? No, nah, you're going to be like, the fuck? Because you're going to be in fear for your life and fear for your, 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 um, your wife and kids life. So that's different. That's like you're going to war. If you go to war and motherfuckers are shooting at you and you just like, oh, well, the Bible says thou shalt not kill. No, you gonna you you better be getting down or they're going to get down on you. Even the Lord is a man of war. The Lord has set up plenty. Of, matter of fact, the Lord has told um, the Israelites to 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 knock off nations, man, damn near, man. Or at least Amalek ass was supposed to have been knocked off back in the days. You know, there's plenty of wars, man, that the Lord actually sanctioned. Right. So anyway, let's go back. I get a little bit more now in doubt. I just seen this and I'm like, wow. But this is the future of America, man. These, these are your, your the, the future people that are supposed to be carrying this place on, man. And, 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 and <laughs> it don't look good. And it's not going to happen anyway. We, we just can't see it happening, man. So self-defense is right. very warranted. Exactly. Right. But I, I can see where you're going to go with how that has to go with abortion, but we, we can go down that yeah. journey in a second. Yeah, so I mean, like, I I, I kind of do want to give you my argument insofar as why I'm pro-choice, why I think it's justified. But first, I think that, you know, your position is quite absurd, right? Because you're saying that it is murder to kill a human being, right, at any point in development, especially when it's in the mother's womb. My question to you would be, well, does this make women with IUDs murderers? Because it is the case that in some scenarios, an IUD will allow for conception to occur, meaning there's a unique human life there, but it will prevent its implantation intentionally killing it. Well, no, preventing implantation is not necessarily the same thing as terminating a fertilized egg. For yeah. example, if you take plan B, for, again, it's not, it's not the same thing. Preventing the production of progesterone is not the same thing as terminating a fully a, a being that has been fertilized. You do not know for a fact that the egg has been fertilized. You do not know that when you have an IUD. Okay, yeah, so preventing uh, fertilization or implantation to the uterine lining is killing a conceived zygote. So what happens? A sperm goes into the egg, right? The egg becomes fertilized. It's a conceived zygote. In some cases, it will prevent the implantation of the conceived zygote, killing the conceived zygote. In some cases, correct. So, so what do you say in some cases women well, no, with IUDs not, are murderers? Of course not. They're not murderers. We do not know okay. for a case. That's, the, that's like saying that So what's the difference between an IUD killing a conceived zygote because and like a mother going to Planned Parenthood and killing the fetus in her womb? Well, so you asking, you're asking two separate things. If they, if they knew for certain to be more clear that I have a fertilized egg and I'm going to take a drug to prevent that fertilized egg from attaching to their uterine wall, then yes, that is an act of killing or murder, of course. Okay, so but, do you think you all murderers should go to jail? Do I think all murderers should go to jail? I mean, on the third on third degree murder. However, no, I don't think women that got abortions or had IUDs should go to jail. See, they talking about murderers going to jail, but the scriptures talk about a damn murderer being put to death. <laughs> you put somebody to death blood for blood, man. But see, this is Esau Edom's kingdom, man. So he and he he he's he's in and out, you know what I'm saying? Because as it went on further, you know, he he kind of had this uh he agreed to he he agreed with abortion um uh, to an extent of okay, if a woman is basically if it's unhealthy to the woman, so to speak. But in the ancient days, every woman took a chance when they had a baby it wasn't just like you know all right well you know i'm going to see my um my doctor that says everything's going to be be okay and you going and you just doing these weekly monthly these these get hit, headed to the clinic and your primary doctor and all this other shit throughout the prayer it wasn't like that in the ancient days man 
You laid down, you took a chance with having the baby, and that was that. You just didn't know. But see, this is Esau with his science. He's like, well, I'm God. I can prevent, and I can, you know, I'm God. I, 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 I can give life or death. This is, this is Esau. This is why we, this man has to be eradicated because he has that, 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 that God-like complex, man. And he's being revealed in these last days. Let me get that. And I don't want to keep this much longer. I mean, because you can, you can find that and, um, and check, check it out. I thought it was interesting myself. It just kind of just started playing, too. I was um, listening to another. Uh, I was listening to the Apostle Tahar, and then all of a sudden, you know how shit just pop up. It'll just, I don't know why, because I, I wouldn't recommend nothing like that for me to be listening to. But, hey, we get lessons out of stuff like that. It was about the Spirit. 2 Thessalonians 2 and... Let's get verse 3 and 4. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So the Lord's not going to come until what? The man of sin, the son of perdition be revealed. And that's Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Because it goes on to say, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God. That's the reason why he can tell you, you can abort a baby this time, but you can't abort a baby over here. And, 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 and you know, he, he's in control of life and death, so to speak, on this planet. This is his kingdom. Or, you know, well, nothing's going down without the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat. You get what I'm saying. You know, it says, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God. Or that is worship so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And not to mention, you know, he made himself. You, you Google God right now, so-called white man going to pop up. You Google Jesus right now, so-called white person going to pop up, right? Which we know the Lord's name is not Jesus, you know. But what you're going to see is a blonde-haired, blue-eyed white guy that's going to pop up on your screen when you, when you Google that particular name. Because he set that up. Because... He's been running this 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 game on the world that he's the savior and that, you know, one of these days, a so-called white man is just going to come out of the sky. and He's going to save us from the so-called white man that's been torturing us for centuries. It just don't make no sense. But he does have that God like complex. That's why he's got cameras every fucking where he's got satellites all out in space. He's beaming down signals to watch every goddamn body. He's telling you what you should eat. He's playing with the fruits and vegetables. He's taking the seeds and shit. He's giving you GMO foods. He's telling you how water should be. He's This man got a water treatment system where he's just putting all kinds of shit in it and running it through the taps, man. Your ass catching skin abrasions and all kinds of shit from just getting in the shower. He's the one that's over up, you know, um, in control of the seas, the fishing industry, who can go fish, who can go hunt, who can build a house. How it should be built and could be built. Other than that, they'll come and bulldoze your shit down if you try to build something on your own. He's in control. So, I thought that this would be kind of like get, good to get down on, you know, as far as, you know, just the spirit, man. Because like I said, this popped up by the spirit. And clearly edification that this man is the goddamn wicked. <laughs> He's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. This man really, he, he'll... This man don't believe in the Lord, man. He really believes that he's he's almighty. He really believes that. He he really wants to be all knowing. But if he was all knowing, he would know that his his demise is coming soon. And that <laughs> that just show you the, the the type of trick bag that the Lord got this man in. The Lord really got him thinking that he can actually win. That his kingdom is going to carry on forever, man. They, this man got a space for us. He's ready to fight the Lord. <laughs> you know how stupid that is? How you going to fight? That's like a two-year-old trying to fight his, 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 his in-shape 35-year-old uh, 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 old father. In his prime, strong as he can be. Muscles on top of muscles. Goddamn two-year-old. He really think that he can whoop his pops ass, man. You know, without a doubt, too. That's how stupid it is for Esau to think that he's going to carry on, man. The Lord is about to deal with this man. And, and this is one of the reasons as to why. It's millions and millions of babies being aborted every year. And they mainly, because when you see these guys, when you see a guy like this right here, he's not thinking about the so-called black woman aborting no babies. He's thinking about the so-called white race aborting babies, aborting babies, because he understands that they're dying off quicker than they're being born. He understands that. 
You think if you, this man don't give a shit about you? That that, that little nigga woman that that ran her ass up there all quick, it, 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 man. He, he, that, he was probably in the back of his mind like, please have abortions. Here's the number. I know somebody. <laughs> you know, he's not thinking about no so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. I've watched this guy's show before. This guy's racist as hell. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know if they took his shit down. But um, he had a, uh, like, if you got Roku TV, it's kind of like in, in between, like, the news channels and shit like that. Because I've stopped and, and checked this show out a couple of times. Like, he, he yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty, he hates you niggas, man. So he's not thinking about um, um, that nigga woman that ran up there. He's thinking about the so-called blonde hair or the brunette or whatever you want to call him. He's thinking about the so-called white race. Stop aborting the damn babies. Y'all need to get up because we're losing right now. And that's really what it is because we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Esau losing. He losing bad. He's losing on the drug front. Most of the most of most of these kids at this age right here, they probably gonna leave there and go and take some pills. <laughs> you know? They probably about to leave there and go and smoke some dope. They got, I'm sure, got a bong. Motherfucker got a vape pen. Can't wait to leave for, for this shit to be over with so they can go out and, and, and go get high. They ain't thinking about no damn kids. They ain't think, think, thinking about um carrying on their lineage. But see, us as a people, when we come back into our power, we're going to be really thinking on being fruitful and multiplying. Really thinking on what the Lord actually said about that's a commandment. Be fruitful and multiply, man. We're not going to ever be thinking about having no goddamn abortions. Are you crazy, man? We could, we, we're going to be celebrating with so much joy a new new Israelite coming into the world. Ain't going to be no, you know what I'm saying, no, no, well, I can't afford this, I can't afford that. You know, oh, Matter of fact, it's not going to even be no no chicks just out here opening up their damn legs and just having random sex whenever they want to. That's not going to be in our kingdom. Our women are going to really be with one man. And one man throughout the throughout their entire life, which is gonna be immortality, basically. Because we're gonna be immortal. That one woman, she's gonna be, she's gonna be with that one husband for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. Millions of damn years, man. <clears throat> we'll see how that play out. That's I mean, it's it's actually incredible to it's unfathomable, really, in this human body to think of something like that. But the wages of sin is death. So if the scripture says that we're going to be changed in a twinkling of an eye, we're going to see the Lord as he is because we're going to have bodies like he got. So we're going to be immortal. So that means that we're not going to die. Vibrant, strong, no ailments, no uh, fucking million years old with the same set of teeth. <laughs> Can you imagine that, man? That one woman, that woman going to be with that one husband all throughout that time. Now, the concubines we're going to have, they're going to die off, you know what I'm saying, these other nations. Because they're not going to have immortality like how we have. But guess what? That concubine is not going to deal with no other man. If she lived to be 100 years old, she's going to be with that one man. That's it. All this... Uh, 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 women being jumping around and got multiple dudes and got, ain't gonna be no Instagrams, ain't gonna be no goddamn um, no 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 social media sites where where motherfuckers is swiping and, and liking your goddamn pictures. No, ain't gonna be none of that. That's gonna be over, and we can't wait, bro. So I'm <laughs> I'm gonna end out there. Again, this is called Charlie Charlie um Kirk versus Twenty Five Woke Students. Uh. I'm sure you should be able to pull it up and hopefully they don't hit me with the with the, the, the copy thing. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, this is for educational purposes only. Only played a little bit of it, but hey, it goes on. Hey, it's another. This shit went on for an hour and a half. I'm, I'm only seven minutes in, eight minutes in. Can you imagine? I can't even see how he even took it. Because I, I, I watched it further in. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, God damn, this is the, this the new people that's going to be running the fucking world? Hell no, man. We definitely need out of here and soon. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah and the Bible Bar.